How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Another day, another vlog. Guess what? We are back at Universal Studios Hollywood for the brand new weekly updates for right here at the park. Only, instead of going to the park for this video, we're going to Universal City Walk. Got a few updates here and there, so let's go and check it out. First thing we notice right out here at the Universal Studios store is advertisements for the 30th anniversary for Jurassic Park. So much like in the park, they have merchandise for the 30th anniversary. <laughs> That's cute. Got more t-shirts. Here's some action figures. The Uno attack game. Oh, that's cool. Got the Velociraptor backpack right there. 30th anniversary hat. That's pretty cool. Welcome to Isla Nubar. Grand opening, June 1993. You got some plushies. You know, the Universal Monsters. You got Frank there. There's the bride, Dracula, the creature, and the Wolfman. Oh, these are cool. I actually have these at home. There's the Wolfman and Frankenstein. These are action figures, by the way. I actually have pretty much almost the entire collection. I also have Dracula, the Invisible Man, the Mummy. I just recently got the Bride of Frankenstein. They have yet to come out with the Creature of the Black Lagoon, but I think they are working on one. But the one I was really excited to get was Dracula. Here's more of the Universal Monster area of the studio store. Here's the Mummy. So they do have other mugs too. Here's the Bride. There's Dracula. There's the Mummy right there. Got more stuff featuring Frankenstein and the Bride right here. The Bride is definitely getting a lot of attention, especially now that she's in the park as a character meet and greet. If you want to make it look like you're cooking at the Honey Dukes, you've got pretty much all your cooking supplies. So you got of glove there, you got placemat, here's even an apron, some towels, and even some measuring spoons. Now, I'm actually tempted to get these because these are kind of cool. I like those. There's really not a whole lot of merchandise featuring dark arts unless you want to count the Death Eater plush as dark arts related, but yeah. That's about the only dark arts related item I see here in the store. As we head past Popcornopolis, the former area of Fossil and the Zen Zone, still haven't seen much change over here. These closed down about a month or so ago. I was, this was the biggest shock of me when Zen Zone actually shut down. Fossil, I'm not surprised because a lot of their items were very expensive. But this was a shocker to me that Zen Zone closed down. Because they were open the previous day and then the next day they were done. So a similar word as to what is going in this place. There are like no signs up here saying, oh, pardon our stardust. Nothing happening yet. The Super Nintendo World store here at CityWalk has been doing some really good business so far. Also, they do have the power-up bands here too. Larsy! Well, there's no short supply of power-up star popcorn buckets. And here are the power-up bands right here. You get those at the front. In terms of like new merchandise, there really isn't a whole lot. There's like a couple of things here and there. They still have a lot of the merchandise from Japan that we imported to get us prepared for Super Nintendo World. So they still have plenty of that. Still got plenty of the shirts and all. I'm actually wearing this shirt right now. They've got plenty of the Goopa hats as well as the Yoshi hats. And up there, look at that, they've got the Bowser backpacks. Here we got a bunch of the Bowser heads too. The Bowser heads are currently at $39. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I've heard these run for about 100 bucks, these backpacks. Yep, 100 bucks. And by the way, uh, no discounts yet, so yep, you're paying full price. You know, for a Saturday, it is really busy here in CityWalk. It is a weekend after all, but still, there's a lot of guests here going to the park or heading out of the park or just visiting CityWalk. But yeah, it's pretty busy today. Right over here, they got some construction work going on right now where Starbucks and Blaze Pizza were once located. Blaze Pizza was actually a shocker to me because 
that was a good restaurant. A lot of team members and guests got their pizzas from right over here. It was cool too because when Pi Day came along, their pizzas were only $3.14. There is a new photo op right here from DreamWorks, the studio that brought you Shrek and How to Train Your Dragon. And they are really pushing this movie. They have three posters of it right over here. And it's all over the front of the Universal Cinema. <laughs> One of the latest additions is, of course, the Twosome Chocolate Emporium. Look at all that steam coming out of those pipes. That is so cool. They also have character meet and greets in here, too. That are characters from the Emporium. This took a while to build because when we shut down back in 2020, they were just starting to work on this. And then when CityWalk reopened for a limited time, they had removed, no, I'm trying to remember. I think the walls were still here, but they put like a palm tree here and some chairs right there. But this was still just a white facade. It didn't have any like details or anything. Finally, not too long ago, they started constructing this monstrosity. Now we're gonna head into things from another world. Gotta say hello to Iron Man, obviously. Got Boba Fett down there, as well as Batman and Harley Quinn right down there. Right now they have action figures from the latest Spider-Man Across the Universe Part 1 movie. Let's have a few other X-Men figures, including Emma Frost and Wolverine down there, and Loki. They have figures from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Here's the comic selection here for this week. A lot of good ones. Still have no clue as to when Celebrity Authentics will be opening up, but should be very soon though. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a huge competition to things in the world. It will have a lot more expensive items in there. And last but not least, we have Production Central here. It's featuring a lot of merchandise, again, from the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. Ooh, they even got some Fast X merchandise in here too. Yep, definitely got merchandise for Jurassic Park, but they also have Jaws, and Back to the Future, and E.T. right there. <laughs> it's even a bicycle up there with E.T. I like the hat though. The hat looked pretty cool. I can't remember if this is in the park or not. I don't think it is. That's cool, 27 bucks. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All right, see y'all next time here on the vlog series and seen as they say in Hollywood. I am in Hollywood, Universal Studios Hollywood, in fact. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.